Now let's suppose I want my user to tell me what the value of the string is. We can still do that coming from the text box here. And what we're going to do is we'll bring in a label here to show the message. And we'll call it just message label. We're not going to change the text on the label right now for time's sake. So what our user, when we click on this button, is going to take the message from here to here, which we've already practiced, except this time we're assigning it to a string. So when we go here, here's our dim a1s string. Notice how we no longer have the equal sign because we're going to reassign this value. Just like when we were taking information from the text box and putting it into the label, this time we're going to do this to the variable string a1 which is where we're sending the information so I'm going to type a1 equals message text box dot text then I can do what I want to with that variable and then putting the message back out message label dot text equals a1 it's still doing the same thing, but now we're able to assign it to a variable to work with. So I'll show you. Let's type hello. Goes to the variable, then back out to the label. Why are we going to do this? We're going to get into a process called concatenation that will want to add stuff to the string variable to produce a new kind of variable or message here. You'll see coming up.